Hello, welcome to another episode of Gabe Spot Plays. I'm Danny O'Dwyer, joined by Mr. Andy Bauman. Hey, what's up, Danny O'Dwyer? You like race cars. Well, I like virtual race cars. <laughs> I guess hey, I like real race you cars. You own a Subaru WRX. Yeah, I That's do. pretty good. It's good. It's got turbocharger <laughs> and stuff. That's not a car that's available in oh, Project Car in CD Project Cars, which we're about to play here. Uh, Project Cars, which means stands for Community Assisted, the, maybe Racing Simulator. Yeah, this is the, uh, the the this is out on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC. We're playing the PC version here. I am playing with a steering wheel. You got a hot wheel. I do. I got a Thrustmaster uh, uh, with uh, some some hot pedals. Danny's the, got a big PlayStation logo on it, though. What are you doing on PC with it that? It does. The, the, the 300, you can get drivers for it uh, to hook it up to PC. So that's, that's what I'm doing awesome. right now. It's pretty rad. Uh, it's Project Cars, uh, you're, you're a big more, uh, Forza Motorsport fan, but there's one way in which yeah. this is completely different to, to Forza. Yeah, in the way that you can just pick whatever track, pick whatever car, and just do a race. You don't have to worry about um, you know, unlocking a... I mean, you can do that in Forza, to be fair. You can say a free event. <laughs> Mm. Um, but those games, you know, are focused around the progression. Start yeah. small. Start in your, uh, you know, Kia Sportage or and, whatever. And there like, is and kind then of build up to the to the bigger car. You have to get credits. You have to get mm. done and buy them, buy them, and it's and, actually. And you can do that in the career mode here. Yeah, you can start off with carts start with and work carts. your way through. But but most of it is just kind of there's a great online component as well. But yeah. uh, we're gonna dive into solar just so we can show a couple of uh, couple of uh, tracks and a couple of different. But, Race types because there's loads. Look at this shit. Look at all this nonsense. Yeah, I mean, Forza doesn't have carts. That's cool. But it has, you know, track toys, GT. This is focused on cars you're going to see at a racetrack. Hmm. So there are some road cars, but, you know, they're, they're track focused road cars like yeah. the BMW M3 or the. They got like everything from like P1 or what? Yeah, like, they got like P1s. They got like yeah. NASCAR stuff. Like they got Formula A, which is basically Formula One. From like this, I think there's like the 2011 cars maybe. Yeah. Um, yeah, look like all these like little super sports and. Uh, the crazy old lotuses. Like, Look at that. Like, and they're all like really high detailed. Like this game looks really fun. It looks fantastic. It also um, controls really well. I, this is one of these games that I think you need to play this with. <laughs> like I played it with the controller and I just don't enjoy it as much. Well, it and takes... the feel of grip and the feel of uh, yeah. uh, like how each car works mechanically is so unique that I think you kind of need the wheel and, and the, at least the wheel to sort of get the most out of it. You're correct. Uh, Playing with a gamepad, no matter what system I played on, all three. I guess, oh, really? Now, uh, with a gamepad, I've had to like tweak it massively to get it the way I want it. Really? Um, but luckily, this game is so like you know open to that. Mm. You can go to the menu, do the steering sensitivity. Oh, so do much the, tinkering. Yeah, tink tinkering. That's a good way to put it, man. Like you can do whatever you want. Yeah, the cars you can all tune like incredibly uh, minute details on. You know, ride height. Suspension. Yeah. Strength or whatever it's and, called, and, stiffness. And, and they that. do let you do some stuff that's kind of like casual, but uh, I'm not yeah. playing filthy casual. I'm playing with, uh, I'm doing my own gears. I'm Ooh. gonna, yeah, I know it's these four one cars, grip? man. How about your uh, traction oh. control system? I don't have it on, but I have. Um, do these cars oh, have man. a traction control system in real life? It's so hard to talk and do this at the same yeah, time. Right. I have all the difficulty, I have all the like realistic stuff turned on as well, so you can just break Dude, like suspension them. arms and stuff. Yeah. Uh, it, like damage is on? Yeah, really, it's on full. Wow, so this is ballsy. Plus, you're in the mode now that puts you in the helmet, which you can tweak, you can turn <laughs> off, you can adjust all the camera angles as well, so like you can switch the camera Ooh. angles. I'm, oh. take, I'm taking Curva Grande here Damn. in Monza. Oh. I'm oh. really freaking good at this. <laughs> this is not easy. <laughs> it's no, it's not. Uh, oh, especially no. Especially in one of these cars. These cars are squirrely. They're so wily. Oh, no. They're so wily, like trying to... I love how it goes blurry. So you can, like, you're, I'm just looking yeah. at the little blue lights. I was like, and that's how they kind of oh. uh, simulate the speed effects that are forcing. Oh, no. no! It's all right, you're good, you're still good. Oh, that's a bad one. Front, oh, you lost the wheel. Oh, did I? Did I lose yeah, the wheel? Yeah, you lost the wheel. Go to the uh, oh. outside view if you can. Let's check it out. <laughs> oh, man! Oh, that does not well, look good. I don't good. know if you're going to be able to race on that. Just get it back to the pits. This is, yeah, I'm just going to pull over the, the pit crew, the, the marshals need to, we're going to have to get a safety car for this. Uh, let's try a different race. Yeah, all right. Uh, so that's this game in a nutshell, really freaking hard. <laughs> yeah, really hard, but really satisfying. Oh, like, I, yeah. I enjoyed the difficulty in this a lot. So another, like, differentiation from Forza is, like, you just select a track and you race. Mm. And you maybe select how many laps or whatever, like, but it's usually only, like, a couple laps. This, this game, it really wants you to, to be able to simulate a race 
weekend. It, it, that's what it says. It's mm. like you qualify, you do your pits, you, you do your practice, you practice session. You, you like, want to see how much gas you're going to need. You can fill up your gas to where you want it and take pit stops and yeah, do that your stuff tire is crazy. strategies, which is like that's all way over my head because I just you know want to drive cars fast. Yeah, well, it's stuff that but I'm used stuff, to being like a Formula One fan because exactly. like that's 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 part and parcel with race strategy is like making sure you end the race with you know this smallest amount of fuel in the tank so that you're nice and light and skipping get that, along. Get that acceleration at the end. But it's across everything. Like it's yeah. across all these different disciplines. And you were saying something very interesting uh, when we talked about this uh, earlier, which was that this is the type of game where instead of just unlocking the next car and like trying to like mix it up, like they're giving you different cars to mix it up. In this game, they're really trying to get you to like perfect one type of driving. Yeah, like find a car you like and then freaking know that car. Yeah. And then know it on every track, which can just, that, that'll take your whole life. Pretty much. Oh, I forgot to bad um, shifting at the start. I thought it was an F1 car and like double shifted straight away. Oh man. Actually, whoa. that is what. Whoa, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. A lot of launch control will take you from first to third if you're trying to go to zero six. Yeah, to totally. Fast. But anyway, uh, oh. so I can ask you, F1. So you're a fan of F1. Why yeah. not play F1? Like, is what's the difference between this and that game? Oh, like that. So that game controls like you know you can crank up the difficulty. Yeah. Uh, but oh Jesus Christ, this is I'm, I'm doing a poor showing here. Uh, but that game is very much a, a, an arcadey. Well, not an arcade. It sits in the middle, and I feel like most driving games have sat in the middle for a long time. Like there's yeah. a big difference between R Factor and you know Drive Club or even Gran Turismo and stuff, which was kind of. Realistic in in some ways, but then in other ways was was were just like oh god, I forgot to shift again. You can tell when you forget to shift you when everyone else drives around. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. yeah, we don't have the TV um, uh, set up. I'm actually sitting at a tiny little uh, <laughs> table here as well, so it's just you nothing this. about this is like how I was playing outside. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, th th this game is realistic in like completely different ways. Like in yeah. many ways, like the AI, for instance, isn't fantastic in this game. They're no. kind, they're kind of they kind of they drift between being incredibly clever to being like just almost passive like they're just kind of like let you let you fly by um but it, those games feel like you're 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 the, you know you're battling everyone else this game is a game where you feel like you're battling between you and the car okay like and that's a that's a satisfying experience in and of itself totally you get it like get it's, into it. it's very it's real satisfying because then every car is different as well so like i enjoy playing yeah. f1 game because it has all like you know it has all the licenses and it has all the tracks and all that like obviously in this they've got they got Monza and Silverstone, and they don't have uh, Yas Marina. They have Abu Dhabi or something. Okay. Um, man, I keep and forgetting Spa this shift. Too, oh, sorry, Spa is in it as well. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Uh, and then you can, like, if you want, you can, you can do Take Spa in California. a cart yeah. as well. You can go up Eau Rouge in like a little tiny go kart, and you know, do do a five minute lap. Sorry, I might give my. Like, Actually, that was pretty good. Oh man, <laughs> this, this is why I don't play in this setup because my uh, yeah, I think your the, pedals the pedals slipped out from yeah. underneath me. So that's what happens. Like, oh, it's gonna uh, stay here. Do a little spinny, spinny. <laughs> let's uh, let's try one more different uh, type of. Car. I'm just making car sounds now. I don't care. It's pretty good car sound. <laughs> in fairness, that's what your car sounds like. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, hit that turbo. Shit. Um, yeah, but this is it's a it's a. It's a real fun game. I've been jumping in and out of it for the past uh, t uh, two weeks. Just kind of, uh, you know, I've got an hour and I just want to jump yeah. in and like try out a new different. Like, there's so much variety. Like, look at look, let's like, we've we've shown kind of a, a road track and then an actual circuit. Like a GT car. Oh, in, in Milazan as well, actually, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, like Laguna Seca. Classic. The, look at all the different versions of the North Life they have here as well. Oh, yeah. Remember how Forza Five shipped without the Nurburgring? Oh, we did. You're right. Yeah, God. but they but they added it in, so that's good. So we can do so we can do stage three and just hit that big old straight yeah, if you want. This is a great one. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, what's the fast? What one of the fastest cars? Zonda could, R. Be the P oh yeah, there's a Picani uh, Huayra in here as well. Actually, yeah. Not many of those in the world. Um, yeah, so it's like I just love jumping in and, and trying out a like a new new car, a new dumb situation, or like or really settling on. Like I I've done. You wouldn't know from how I was playing just there, but I've like done a bunch of. Um, just playing around in Monza with like different mm -hmm. settings on the on the car as well. So here's a Huayra, so Might as well uh, do it. And then like like you know we're we're very much playing like vanilla two laps just to show you here. But yeah, you, you can, can crank up one, crank up the opponents. You can straight up have like 36 F1 cars on this thing as well. <laughs> uh, let's do multi class. Okay, that'll be interesting. Opponent scale. This thing is weird. It's uh, they're never really that clever. Yeah, it does make them harder. Nice. Just put it up. Leave it there. I found that. Uh, I keep all my assists, my driving assists, 
on most, not like steering or braking, but um, traction brakes uh, and yeah, that's it. Yeah, I keep those on and it makes this game a little bit more enjoyable because the feedback just isn't there to like feather this stuff as, as yeah. much as it is in Forza and stuff. Like I can play those games with all that off and have an enjoyable experience. And this mm. one, I feel like I'm, I should be making this turn, but I'm completely losing control and <laughs> going off the side. It's like, I don't have the feeling that I'm going too fast. So, like, so I found there's some balances you have to like kind of make up for in this game. Mm. Feel it out for yourself. But once you do that, it's amazing. And on PC, like there's just isn't, on PC and PlayStation 4, Dude, like there's on PlayStation near 4, this. Yeah, they've been experience. crying out for a game like this on PS4. So this is phenomenal if you're on those <laughs> this, is a, this is what happens if you start in Norwich Life uh, <laughs> with like 36 toy. cars. It's just like... And oh, I was, what somebody, is that in front of you, like a Peugeot? Yeah, somebody was pushing me from behind there as well, so I lost a bit of traction. I love this. This is great. It's, it's all just about getting that right position for the, for the, nice, the nice fat straight later on. Uh, yeah, like for a PS4, to be crying out for a game like this. Like, Drive Club oh, was a dude. huge disappointment. Uh, <laughs> this is so dumb. Look at this is just like German traffic. We <laughs> 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 might as well be playing like German car cars, simulator. Yeah. Oh my god. I love throwing on all the um, the damage, and there, there's also like, for instance, in the F1 games, you can't put on mechanical like mechanical issues that just happen. Oh, like the car just explodes. Yeah, like just having problems that you need to pit for. Yeah. Oh, the acceleration! I need to hear it. I need to hear it. I need to hear it. That's why I'm not talking. Yeah. So the thing about yeah, you talk. Go for it. Yeah. The thing about a Pagani Huayra is that it's fast. <laughs> our, like real fast. Our friends over at uh, xcar.com, a uh, uh, sister site to uh, uh, CBS, yeah, they went and uh, drove it with Mr. Pagani. The, the guy's was pretty crazy. Those Italians have some, have, some, have some car passion. Oh, look at these guys. There's something like so satisfying about lining up overtaking in this game. Like mm -hmm. way more than in uh, when I play the F1 game. In the F1 game, I almost feel like I'm, people are overtaking because I've either set the difficulty so low that I, they just don't care or um, I, they, they've made a mistake. Like it never feels, like I, you battle for like five laps to get that overtake and sometimes it feels good, but like for the most part, it doesn't really. I, I kind of like the fact that the AI in this isn't the cleverest. Like even if you like, I've, I've set it up way higher than this as well. Um, they're never really that clever. They're, they're, they're definitely not aggressive. Uh, so if you're, if you have like, if you're like, clambering for a bit of space, they tend to kind of give it to you, you know? Yeah. I don't know why I dropped down at first there. Um, so I've been playing this game as of the last two days. Whoa. Oh my god! Oh. Thanks, Pagani. Your Great. engine just got blown. Uh, so that's probably because I was like, you just, run just red revving line? it and redlining it on like low gears. All right. <laughs> engine blown. I'll just sit over here. You guys just race without me. So the last two days, <laughs> I've been testing this game out. Look at my little at, window. Uh, <laughs> super high resolution on oh, yeah? PC. And it, scales so well, it looks amazing at 4K. I've also been playing it at 1080p at 144 frames per oh second. Oh my god, really? What's yeah, that like? Yeah, we have a monitor in that has 144 uh, refresh rate. It's amazing. I recommend all car games be played that way. I was better at the game because it was so much more smooth <laughs> and I could like look further down the track and see how it was gonna maybe, or this is all in my own head, I don't know if I was really better. <laughs> but it was so good at that high frame rate. So like, yeah, we're, we're clambering at all racing games should be 60p on, you know, Xbox 45 yeah. needs to be 60p. <laughs> You're setting the benchmark like, that much no, higher. No, no. All games need to be 144p <laughs> from now on. And this game will do it for you if you have the setup. <laughs> yes, it will. But it'll run at 60p on like most PCs, probably. Yeah. It's yeah, it's it's actually relatively well optimized. My PC yeah. at home isn't the fast, fattest thing in the, in the world. Uh, I got a 570 in it and, and it looks good and it plays good too. Um, I'm gonna give this a go. Carts, baby. Because this is the other side of the spectrum. I love the carts. In this. It, they had a real sense of speed that this game kind of doesn't oh, have. This is a better. Otherwise. This is a better camera angle than that. Yeah. There we go. These things are crazy. So this is like what F1 drivers come up doing, right? Yeah, they do a bunch. Like, like some of them, something like Lewis some Hamilton and Nico Rosberg uh, used to. I really know nothing about <laughs> this, this shit. scene. This is so much fun. Oh, this is absurd. Oh, sh no, you're good. Keep it. Hit the cones. That's just a shortcut. It's so hard. I'm trying to listen to my engine so bad. Like that's what I love about it. Is like, the, the, especially when you play with the wheel, there's a mechanical sense. Like when you go in like yeah. opposite lock on, like full lock on one of these things, you're kind of like, feels like you're you're battling the the terrain, like trying to get around these guys here. When you're using the wheel, <laughs> your hands on screen uh, go. They do like over under over under. If you yeah. like crank, which if you're using a gamepad, it doesn't do that. 
Oh, really? Which is a really nice touch. So it's almost like it's it's like, it like directing knows. you or something. Yeah, yeah. It knows you're like struggling with it. God, I'm really sucking hard. It just knows you're using a wheel. My like, engine's oh, probably gonna blow you. again. Good <laughs> 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 damn shame at the, the first. These cards are bulletproof. Oh. Yeah, but these cards are fun. I think these big tracks. <laughs> it's taking the other track. <laughs> For carts. Oh, they have man. some specific ones in the career boat that you use on the carts, and they're really fun. All right, all right. We gotta take it seriously from here. All right, here we yeah, go. Yeah, get, get in the zone. Maybe it's the auto zone. A scout from, from Ferrari are, are, are watching me. So that was I a good it. turn. You know what's amazing, though? Wasn't that good? <laughs> how much I miss having the little indicator come up in Forza 5. It's like, good turn. <laughs> like, yeah, <you're> like, <laughs> sketchy turn. <laughs> like, all right, let's go a lot here. Let's do some, do some sick. Uh, some I kind of missed donuts. that about the skin, but I guess that wouldn't be true to life in the racing. In the racing world? Yeah. Like, I'm going downhill somewhere, like, I can't even see the, the, the like, rev counter meter LEDs on the top of my car. Yeah, it's all... Uh, all right, well, I might as well finish this race. Uh, so that's Project Cars. It's Project out now. It's on a PC, PS4, Xbox. What apologies to everyone for this horrific uh, driving. At least I'm playing with a wheel. It was announced for Wii U, but I don't think that's happening. No, I don't think that's happening, man. <laughs> Even if it was, you know what? I'm gonna go out and live. Even if it was, me. yeah, I don't think playing this with a Wii U gamepad, <laughs> like just, like Mario Kart style, is probably the way you want to do it. Uh, it's 59.99 on a, on on PSN, on Xbox Live, on on Steam as well. See, it was. Look, it was a wheel. Was Get that wheel in the shop, baby. Right, here's that wheel. Yeah. yeah. Pedal stop slipping. That's all I'm gonna blame it on. Andy Bauman. Hi. Thank you very much for chatting to me about Project Community. Cars. Community First encounter assault recon. Recon. Wait, community assisted racing simulation simulator. Uh, for more coverage of Project Cars, perhaps with me not sucking so bad, uh, stay tuned to GameSpot.com. I'll do that.